We use in kickboxing not only the normal front kick, but most of the time a push kick. My trainer holds the bag backwards and let it go. On that moment I lift up my knee to my chest and push the bag away. This kick is to keep your opponent away from you. I do this left and right, later on I do this in a rit rhythm after each other. In the beginning this is difficult to stay in balance because you have to put your weight in your kick. Now I make a left push kick and a right knee. After my push kick I put left in front and step in with a right knee. You see I don't pull my left leg too much back for my distance. The same for the right side. Here we can see some push kicks to the body and face. Here we can see it's almost a sideward kick straight into his face. Again, after my kick, I try to step backwards in a basic position to move back from him and get the ideal position to counter. Here I'm giving a left front kick into the face of my opponent. For the roundhouse kick we take the banana bag. This is a longer bag than a normal boxing bag. I make a left jab, step sideways and forwards to the back with my left leg, not straight towards to the back. I kick with my right shin on the back and pull my left arm for my face to block. For the left kick I make a right punch and step in between, not straight towards the back, but now to the right to put your body in the kick and kick with my left shin on the back. Now I pull my right arm for my left face to block. Then I make left and right kicks in the rhythm after each other with the steps in between. After that I make double kicks with both legs. You see both kicks are hard because I turn my body in both kicks. After the front kick, I'm countering with a right punch to the head, which makes his defense go up, and I'm countering with a body kick. Again, watch how his defense go up, and the body kicks lands to the stomach. Of course, the body kick can also be used to stop your opponent from coming forward. In this case, it's the punch what's causing the KO. The body kick after the punch brings him off balance.
With the high roundhouse kicks I keep more distance. I make the left jab and turn on the ball of my left foot. Lift up my knee in a circle up and stretch my leg not complete when hitting the bag. The power is in turning my body with an explosion, not in my leg. With the left high kick I make a step in between and turn on my right ball of my foot. Lift my knee up and in the turn of my body I stretch my leg and kick. Step back to a basic position. Later I do this also in tempo, left and right high kicks. And make two steps in between for balance and distance. Watch how my shin is hitting my opponent. The famous leg kicks, which everybody thinks is such an easy kick. But to do it right, and at the right moment, it's not easy at all. I make a left jab, step with my left leg sideways towards the back and turn my lower body into the kick. After giving the low kick, I giving a middle kick and then finishing with the right kick. Middle and high. Watch the little step in between, which makes it a very powerful low kick. You can see a low kick doesn't always have to come from a front leg. You can kick your opponent on his standing leg. In this case it is given on the front leg. Watch how my balance is in the center and I can hit his leg with full power. In this case I'm stopping off my opponent by giving him a right kick to the body. Here we can see a left high kick to the head. Watch the timing. He wants to step in and I'm giving him a left high kick to the head. Here I show why you have to step sideways forward to the back or your opponent and not straight towards the back or opponent. If you do step straight forwards, the back you will not be able to turn and put your body in the kick. This count for all kicks. When I step to the side towards, 
I can put my body in the kick and have a better impact on my target. So first I show how I do it wrong and then how to do it right. Now I'm building up a combination. I start with a left jab and a right leg kick. After this I follow up with a straight right punch. As the series gets longer I follow with a left kick to the body. Try to do everything with full power, keep your balance in the middle and throw your body behind all the punches and kicks. I am making a left jab, step in with my left leg, make a right kick. Turn my body and leg back and take a step in between and make a left body kick. I found the certain rhythm in my combination and takes my steps to make distance and put power in my techniques. Here we can see a right left right high kick combination. So right, left, right low kick, right, left, high middle kick, right, left, high kick. Left, right, left kick, left, right, middle kick, and a left, right, high kick. I start off with a left right left liver punch and a right low kick, then follow up with a left light left punch and a left high kick. So again left right left liver punch, right low kick, right left right with a left high kick. Again watch my basic position and my balance in the middle at all times. I make a left right straight forward punch and my trainer makes a left hook. I make an evasion and counter with a right punch, left hook and a right leg kick. Watch my trainer makes a real left hook, so I really have to make the evasion. 
for the punch. I bend through my knee and go under the left hook through. And counter with a right punch a left hook, make a step to the left and make a right leg kick. Try to find a rhythm for these combinations and keep balance when you're making deviation. I make a left right punch, my trainer makes a right hook, I go under the hook through and make a left hook, a right punch and a left body kick. When I make the evasion, I turn underneath in a circle to avoid his punch, so I can counter the back with a left hook and then the right punch. I step in between and follow up with a left body kick. You see I keep balance when I make the evasion and the power in the hooks comes from my leg. Now we come to the point what kickboxing is all about, to make combinations between arms and legs and knees, to move in and out from the back or opponent. You see I make two or three punches and a kick, then I make distance and start all over again. I never stay too close to the back or opponent and can see what my opponent is doing. Sometimes I grab the back and make some knees. Watch how after each combination or technique I return in the basic position. I'll keep contact with the floor at all times. By this way I'm using the back as my opponent. I turn him to the left and to the right and creating openings to give my knees.
We practice these rounds normally for three minutes. After three minutes, we have one minute rest to recover and to start all over again. Training in a group will push you to the limit. It is the atmosphere and the rhythm which keeps you going in a group training. Andre Manard is controlling the rhythm by yelling and counting. Back training in a group is good to build up stamina and conditioning. I wish you good luck with this tape and hope it will improve your training skills. <laughs> 